Hey guys, what's going on? It's Forrest or Dave here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a free set of X01 Power Armor. This is Enclave Power Armor. If you guys don't know what Enclave are, go search it up. Uh, they were the bad guys in Fallout 3. And this is the most awesome Power Armor that I found in the game. And you can get it for free, as I said. I will quickly say you need to be level 30 before you can get this armor for free. If you go to these locations I'm going to show you and you're not level 30, you'll instead be getting some less good power armor. Uh, so if you want the X01 power armor, be level 30 before you follow this guide. Okay, so there are actually two locations that you can find sets of X01 power armor. I'm going to show you both of them today. The reason for this is because you might not get a full set at both locations, so hopefully both locations put together, you can make a full set for yourself. So, the first location you're going to want to come to is the Abandoned Shack. It's here in the bottom left-hand side of the map. In the Glowing Sea, I think I remember it being called. I don't know, I don't have the greatest memory, but once you get here, you need to open up this door, head inside. You'll obviously be getting a lot of radiation poisoning out here, so hopefully have some sort of protection from it, maybe some power armor already. Uh, but when you get inside, lockpick your way in, and you'll find this towering room filled with a bunch of synths. And uh, synths are pretty easy to kill, you know. They die in one shot to my railway rifle here, as you can see. Railway rifle, that's like a that's like a tongue twister to say. Uh, anyway, when you get to the bottom, you'll find yourself uh, some X01 power armor, and you'll see here that I didn't actually get a full set of it. There was no right arm and right leg, so I did have to go to the other location to get a full set. Uh, but anyway, I definitely recommend coming here and trying it out anyway, because you may as well go to both the locations. The next location doesn't actually have a marking on the map, so the best way to find it is to come to the Custom House Tower, as shown here. It's pretty near the Railroad HQ, if you haven't been here before, uh, in the big city where Diamond City is also found. Then follow this path around here, which you can see me taking to a building called, if I remember what it's called, 35 Court. Yes, that's... That's the name, as I'm watching the video. Uh, we want to head inside here, fight off a couple of uh, little robots protecting the building, and head up to the top in the elevator. Once you reach the top, you'll actually find the power armor inside a room. Uh, some sirens will start going off, and these two doors on either side of the building will open up. One side had an Assaultron for me, I'm not sure if it's the same for everyone else, but the other side had a Sentry Bot. Of course, the Assaultron was a pretty easy kill. The Sentry Bot, slightly harder, make sure you're not next to it and it blows up, because otherwise you will die. It's a quick save when you come up to the elevator, just to save any hassle. Then go into the rooms where the two robots came from, and push the buttons. You just need to go up to one, push one, and then go up to the other one, push the other, and the door will open, and inside you will find some X01 power armor. I actually got a full set here. It does look a bit different. Uh, I think the reason for this is because the one in the first place was Mark 1, and this is Mark 3. It doesn't change anything to do with the uh, stats, but maybe just the look. I actually preferred the helmet on the first one because it looked much more like the Enclave than the Brotherhood of Steel. So uh, that's the one I'm actually using at the moment in my playthrough. But anyway, you can see that in the power arm, obviously, you have no fall damage. Uh, you just run around like a tank, just killing everything in your sight. It's super fun to run around in power armor. I'm not actually a massive power armor fan. I haven't used it much in my playthrough, but now that I have this power armor and I also have a load of fusion cores on me for my playthrough, I'm definitely going to be using power armor for uh, more of my exploring later on in my game. So hopefully you have enjoyed uh, this tutorial on how to get the power armor. This is completely free to go get. Just make sure, of course, you're level 30 before you go do this. Otherwise, you will not be getting X01 power armor. Hope you've all enjoyed. Hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.